live video we are in. I am sorry I'm running behind, guys. I apologize. I had to get the wee ones put to bed, and I knew it was going to take some time tonight. Um, just because Saturday nights I usually have the kids out and about all weekend long. Um, and so we were out and about today. <laughs> so, and I got to turn the volume off on here too. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Deb. How are my ladies doing? Hi, Joanne. Lisa, how are we doing? I'm so glad to see y'all guys. Well, when I say see y'all guys, figuratively, like on the computer, not in person. Although I have seen Kathy in person. So, Hi, Pam and Linda. Yeah, I'm so sorry I was late. I'm, I'm doing well tonight. It's actually, I mean, I'm a little sore, but that's not the reason I was late. Um, I was late because I was trying to get the kids to bed, um, tucking my eldest into bed. My littlest one fell asleep in here. So, um, yeah. So then I had to move him. Um, I had to move him to his room, and then my eldest one was like, I need strawberry milk. I'm like, it's bedtime. I need water. You have two legs. So, <laughs> hi ladies. <laughs> so, we are going to make some daisies tonight. And I'll move the screen over in just a bit. Um, I forgot to cut the petals on this one. Actually, I kind of decided at the last second that I wanted the extra um, leaves for this one. Hello, Karen. Hi, Tina. Snooks. I like that name. That is cool. <laughs> yeah, I kept my little one out and about all day, and I'm sitting here. I'm like, how are you getting energy right before bedtime? Like, you're supposed to be sleeping. You're supposed to be tired. So, um, yeah. Guys, tonight's one of those easy, easy flower nights, okay? Um, and if, you know, if, if you're wanting to try this yourself, I'm once again using the small flower board this time. Um, you can modify it to use the large, but it works perfectly with the small board. So um, we're gonna use that again tonight for both of the daisies. Um, and if you go to uniqueinthecreek.com, then you can use code SPARKLES and take 10% off. Hi, Alice. Hi, Diana. So, um, hi, Stephanie. So we are going to go ahead you sold your first wreath on Etsy today. Which one was it? Up is the bunny butt. <laughs> I just love the word butt. <laughs> I'm so immature. <laughs> Congratulations. I saw you have the peacock for sale too. I like that one. So don't budge on the price either. That's actually a generous price to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, I feel like I am like so freaking short. I need to be a little taller here. There we go. All right. That's a little better. All right. Um, first things first, we are going to um, get our leaves cut real quick with the uh, impulse sealer. I know some of y'all wanted to see that. So um, you're not going to be able to hear me for like probably like 30 seconds because I've got to get that in there. I'm going to cut them 10 by 10. Um, we're going to need 16 total. So I'm just going to cut 16 um, and then we will leave that at that so just bear with me real quick I've got most of the other petals cut out I saved two petals because I'm doing two two different ways to do the daisy um, so I saved two petals from each way so that I can show y'all how to do it um, and then I mean the rest of it is just putting it together as a matter of fact I'm also gonna get my hot glue gun warmed up because for one of them you are gonna want to use a hot glue gun so and it's stuck to my glass bowl <laughs> Okay, we're all good now. All right, I'm a little loopy today. I haven't even had a drink, so <laughs> I don't know why I'm loopy. One of the other women that I did the workshop with today said it's because I'm enter entering menopause since they've officially classified me as that pre-perio whatever, um, and I'm 38. And I was like, so how long is this gonna last? Five years, we're gonna be done? And the doctor just kind of looked at me. She laughed and she was like, sweetie, try more like 15. I was like, mm, that's tough. Um, so <laughs> yeah, yes, um, I'm going to use poly burlap for the leaves and poly burlap, um, for the petals themselves too. So let's go ahead and cut our leaves real quick. I'm going to bring y'all guys down, try to move y'all out a little bit. My husband actually was like, Hey, you should buy yourself a new camera. And I said, really sweetheart. 
And he goes, yeah, you should. I said, okay. No extra um, encouragement needed there. So I'm going to be getting myself a new camera soon. I just haven't decided if I want to go the Mevo route or if, um, like, I wonder if GoPro would be good. So, um, yeah. I have not had good luck at craft fairs, but then again, most of my wreaths are not in a craft fair price range. So, all right, I'm sticking this sucker on, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, let me get this show started. Gosh, this looks sexy, doesn't it? All right, I feel like I'm going into war. I'm going to go fly an airplane now. Everybody hold under your seats. Okay. It is a little stuffy in here to breathe. All right, this guy should be up. I have him set to eight. All right, we'll just go ahead. Get 16, I'm cutting on 10 by 10. I've already set it, set the middle of the machine on the 20 mark. Oh my God, it's hard to breathe in here. You know what? You gotta be glad that this is just on the mouth and that this isn't like the whole airplane because uh, could you imagine somebody passing a little, you know what, and then you have to smell it inside a gas mask, that'd be terrible. All right, so there's one. I don't even know if y'all can hear me. Here's two, it is two. I mean, it is pink, girl power. Hi, Sheila. All right, here's three. Once this thing gets warmed up, it gets faster. Oh God, all right, that was three. I thought I was on three. Okay, here's four. See, ouch, don't do that, don't be me. Okay, throw that over there for right now. That's four. We're getting near the end of the roll, so it's kind of like just popping up on me. <laughs> all right, okay. Five. Let's see how else I can injure myself tonight, y'all. Fell down the stairs. I wonder what's next. Okay, six. Here comes seven. Okay. Just checking that thing to the side. Eight, something like that. Okay. Nine. You can throw that away. All right. Let's go with this one. All right. Since this is a new one, the other one was already sealed. Since this is a new one, I'm actually just going to go ahead and seal that first edge and get that thing off. All right. And I think we're at the point now where it's hot enough that it's doing it the first time around. Okay. What comes in threes? I missed that part. Two. Three. And even if I make some extra, it's not a big deal. Four, oh, missed a little section there, there we go, five, this little sucker just, there we go, six, seven, I did eight. I think I did eight the first time around. Even if I have some extra, it's not a big deal. Oh God, I can take this thing off now. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay. <laughs> Accidents come in sets of threes, huh? Well, let's see here. I cut my finger, sliced that across. Um, let's see here. I fell down the porch stairs. That's two. Wonder what the third one is, y'all. It's the impulse sealer. I'm going to impulse seal my finger, probably. 
Let's hope not, right? <laughs> All right, so, um, you know, at the very, very beginning, the impulse sealer, you got to heat it up. Um, you know, but after it heats up, y'all, y'all saw how instead of having to do three pushes, I was able to get away with just one. And anytime you start a brand new roll, you're going to want to just seal that very, very edge. I know it, it's a given, but sometimes it's easy just to forget to do that. So, um, I'm just kind of gathering all this in a pile while I threw the trash behind me. I just kind of want to keep the ones that are actually going on the wreath together. <laughs> So, oh man, that thing gets your uh, sinuses going, like in, being stuck inside that mask, and then you come out and you breathe the fresh air, it's like, <sighs> impulse sealer air. So, all right, but I love my little impulse sealer. It's great for burlap. Um, I like my hot knife too, but I use the hot knife a lot for foam. So, um, I think there's a foam knife too, but the impulse sealer works great for foam. All right. All right, we got this taken care of. So let me unplug the sealer and we'll move that out of the way so that we can get started on the wreath. Okay, so let me move this over and get this out of the way. I'll clean it before I go to bed. All right. There we go. All right. All right, y'all, let's begin. Okay, all right. Time to get those big girl sleeves up. All right, so I'm gonna bring y'all guys down. Again, if you are the type to get dizzy or whatnot, um, just kind of close your eyes for just a second. Uh, let me see here. I missed a comment on, you heard me wheezing. Yeah, I don't know if I wheezed or not. Um, not a good idea. <laughs> what size am I making? Um, it's a 10 by 10. How do I clean my sealer? Um, you want me to bring it back over? I'll bring it back over. All right. Look at that. Peggy's making sure I clean it before I go to bed. She knows me too well. All right. So when you look at it, you can already see all this green stuff. You don't want to leave this stuff on here. So all I really do is I just peel it off. Um, you want to make sure it stays nice and clean. Um, it backs up on each other if, if you don't, and it's going to decrease the lifespan of your sealer. And some areas of it will come off in chunks like this, like little strips. So this is the first part you got to clean, and you should do this every single time you use it, and definitely before you um, go to use a different one. The second part that you need to clean Oh God, I'm about to put this thing down because you know I'm gonna slam it on my hand. This part right here, you just kind of want to run your nail down the middle of it and get any sticky parts. I'm gonna put this sucker down now though, but that's all I do is I just run my nail down. And this one actually came with two replacements for this bottom section. See, like there's a little green part stuck here. <sighs> and give it a good blow. All right, we're gonna put this away now. And that's pretty much all there is to it for cleaning the impulse sealer. There we go. And I think it's just a little under $40 if you go on to Amazon. You scrape yours with a plastic putty knife. Well, I never thought about that. <laughs> I'll be honest with y'all. I just use my hands. It's kind of like digging in the garden. Some people wear gloves. Some kind soul even bought me some gloves one time. I never wear them. I just kind of dig in there with my fingertips. That's why when you look at my hands sometimes, they're covered in dirt. As a matter of fact, ew, right? That's all garden dirt right there. So um, underneath, stuck underneath, not on top or not on the outside. I washed my hands real good. It's just it's stuck under there. Or that could be spray paint, actually. Let me see. Nope, it's not going anywhere. It's spray paint, y'all. Yep, that makes sense. There's more spray paint right there, too. Up oh, and more. Okay, I'm covered in spray paint. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we are. We've got our small little board here. Okay, and I already checked to see this time if it was going to fit or not. 
like literally running like a mad woman up and down the stairs. So we're going to make sure we are all set, y'all. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave y'all hanging. All right, how... Let's move y'all over a little more. I like being in the middle of the square. There we go. We're, we're at the square. Nope, come back. All right. There. Okay. I think we are good. My phone was getting angry with me, y'all. So I guess I can't move it to where I want it to be. All right. So we are going to set this little guy up. Okay. Thank you for the hummingbird feeders. Yeah, I'd love to take credit for that, but that was not me. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, we are using this set of rows right here. So we're going to skip the row one, skip row two. We're going to go to row three. But when we go to row three, we're going in the middle sets here. Okay. So let's see. You know what? I'm going to jump to my eight inch. Okay. Let's jump to my eight inch. I'm just going to prep this. And then I'm going to show y'all um, how I did the petals. There we go. One. Another easy, easy wreath, y'all. I'm in an easy kind of mood lately. So, hi, Shirley. Oh, God. Barbara. <laughs> Oops, I took the Lord's name in vain. I'm so sorry. Um, nobody heard that. Yeah, that he did. Okay, anyway, moving on. So, um, wait till you see what else I'm going to do with the small board as well. Because I came across something today, and I actually, I didn't even, I haven't even shown it to Lori yet. But I just told her, I was like, I'm about to blow the board up. Then I had to send her another message and reply figuratively, not literally. Because with me, you never know. If Isabel says she's going to blow something up, there's a good possibility that it's really going to get blown up. All right. Speaking of blowing things up, we are going to shoot off some soda bottle rockets tomorrow in the cul-de-sac. Woohoo! So, but yeah, I found something and um, I just saw it and I was like, oh my God. And then I, I did it again. <sighs> I'm going to be saying so many prayers tomorrow. Mm. Okay, thank goodness I'm not Catholic and I don't have to say my sins. Okay. All right, one more set, and that's it. Um, I don't, check with Lori, but I don't think that, um, I don't think that the small boards are on there. So, all right, so let me show you the petals, Okay. Um, so these are the petals that we are going to be using for our daisy, and I'm going to scooch y'all out a little. That's another thing. My husband was like, you need, a, you need a camera where you can just control it and not put your fingers on the screen for everybody to see. I said, yeah, you're right. I do, honey. Yes, I do. Um, but yeah, so these are the petals that we're going to use. So I'm going to show y'all how I made these. Um, I did a little finagling. I came up with some other petals first. Um, based off the spoon. And these ones are, let's see here, if you measure it out, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10 inches. So they come up to be about 10 inches long. So, um, yeah. So basically, we're just basically going to stick them in each of these areas and wait till you see what I did with the center. But I'm going to show you all how I made these, okay? Let me move these aside because I've already made six of them in advance. Because, again, I didn't want y'all sitting here having to watch me the whole entire time. It's like after two, you get the deal, right? All right, let's see if I move y'all out anymore. Okay, there we go. Okay, so basically, I cut this at slightly under. This is a 21-inch long. Um, this is one of those 21 by 10 burlaps. So it's 21 in height but I cut it to 19 inches. So, um, yeah. So when you do this, it's not going to be a hundred percent perfect square and that's okay. You don't need it to be because you want that daisy fold. Um, you don't want a spoon. You don't want a lolly. You want a daisy. Okay. So you do want it to be slighter, slightly shorter. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to smooth it out here. <sighs> And I'm going to go with the spoon method. With the lolly, you just fold over this way. Um, I call it the spoon. Barbara calls it the is a spoon. I like the little play on words there. But I'm going to show you all what I'm going to do with this. You're going to want one of these little guys, okay? Because that's the first step. I'm going to come here to the middle and find my point. 
and they should be about semi lined up. Okay, I'm gonna come to the middle and I'm gonna squish. Then I'm gonna take this guy, all right, and he's gonna hold it together for me, all right. So he's useful for that purpose, but he's also useful for pulling this up a little bit as well. All right. So, yes, this is not made of plastic. This is made of, um, this is made of that wood, the wood that she uses, very sturdy. And it is heavier than acrylic, so it does, it's a little more during shipping, but not tons more. All right, so basically I'm going to follow the spoon method that I showed you all before, where I take it and I twist it backwards. And I'm going to bring the tip down to here, so basically down to the point. Hold it, and this time you're going to want to push this, kind of like pull this out some, okay? All right. Then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to fold it under, and we're going to bring it down. And then I want to do the same thing. I don't want this pocket here on the inside. I want to pull this to the outside, all right? So just kind of work with it there. Pull it out. Make sure you hold it into place. It's going to try to move on you a little bit, guys. But just keep pulling at it. Gently, of course. It is poly burlap, so you don't want to, you know, pull on it too much. Okay. All right, so that's good. That's good. That's exactly where we need it. Pretty close to it. We're, I'm, I'm good with that. Okay. So now, this part is crucial. You've got to keep them together down here. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> Miss Sparkles, Miss Atlanta. <laughs> you're going to flip the whole thing over. kind of looks like an airplane. Yeah, there goes that airplane thing again. I don't know what that is. Does that mean I'm going to get hurt on an airplane next time? Ugh. Hold this down. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. You're going to want this little guy to go flat a little bit. So pull, push him down. Okay. And this is where we're going to have a little bit of fun with this part. This is why I told you that I wanted the hot glue gun ready. We're going to fold this, okay? And when we fold it, don't fold it down. You want to fold it up like this. So do you see how we get that nice little line going this way? That's what you're looking for, okay? I'm going to go ahead and put a little dab of glue there. <sighs> eh, I'm trying to reach. Get over here. Got it. I'm going to hurt myself with the hot glue. I just know it. Pull this part up as well. Okay. And hold those together for a moment. It's a little warm. Definitely. Good thing is, is I have, I have so many calluses on my thumbs and my four, first fit four fingers. I can't even feel it. <laughs> it feels warm. I can't feel anything else. All right. Let me put that over there. All right, and we're just going to hold that there for just a second, okay? And never letting go of the bottom, mind you, okay? All right, so now it's pretty good. It doesn't need to last long. You're going to take it and flip it over. And this is the point where if you accidentally move this part just a teeny bit, then you just kind of put them back together again. All right, I'm going to get my zip tie ready. Okay, also need to get another glue stick in the back of that glue gun, so I'm going to do that real quick. Now I'm going to pull this guy off. All right. Okay. And now you just kind of move him around. So this is where you get to make him all purdy. Say purdy for company. There we go. Okay. And like I said, if he moved around a little bit, just kind of move him back into place. Not a big deal. All right. Now, technically, this petal can go to be about 12 inches long. If I put this at the 10 mark, there's 10, there's 11, there's 12. I could gather it here. But since I made all my other petals at um, around 10-ish, I've got to make sure that I do the same thing here. Okay? So I only want it to be about that. So I'm going to pull it together. But you can get them up to 12 inches long, y'all. All right. I'm going to use this guy as a reference. Okay, go up a little higher. Perfect. All right, and then we're going to zip tie him. What I can't remember, up. Oh, I used the big fat ones. There we go. And that's pretty much it. 
You don't have sound. Wait a second. Does everybody not have sound here or can everybody hear me? Mm. That's important. That part I need to know. Y'all let me know if y'all have sound. Because somebody said they didn't. You're having trouble with it being blurry. Ugh. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Okay, we hear. All right. Hey, look, it's like giant ears. We hear. Okay. <laughs> okay, hallelujah. Okay, so now we're going to cut that off. I'll show y'all again. And guys, I did not make this up. I'm not going to take credit for this. Um, that's what Lori and I talked about. Half of these folds that you see out is, um, if you take a look at Japanese paper folding origami, and if you take a look at the Japanese felt flowers, a lot of the folds that you see people doing, um, it comes straight from those uh, felt paper, those paper folder, paper flower folding things, and those felt petal ones as well. So go on to YouTube just kind of spend a day there and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, but that's where I got this one from. It, somebody was making one of those teeny tiny cute little flowers that they use with a lighter. You know, they use a lighter and they go shh, shh, and all that other kind of stuff. Yeah, that's where it came from. But look at that petal. All right, and it can go to 12 inches. And then you can pull at it. Look at that. Gorgeous. I love it. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, and then we'll put the wreath. We'll put the wreath together. Okay, here we go. Again, they're cut to 19 inches. Okay, and here. Okay, here we go. All right, that's the bad thing about this 21 inch burlap. <laughs> it's huge, y'all. <laughs> Oh my gosh okay somebody can get lost in here why won't my comments thing keep scroll scrolling down like it keeps getting stuck up here ah, that bothers me I have to keep moving it down myself I'm doing something wrong okay but now I can see your comments on there rubber tips for your fingers yeah I have rubber tips somewhere too hi Davey um, I have rubber tips somewhere too problem is I lost them so I don't know where they are. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing this time. We're going to come to the middle. Squish. All right. Clip it. And then spoon your way on through. Twist backwards. And your phone is... Oh! Okay. Congratulations. How cute was that? Your grandson today grandson getting baptized today. Such a sweet looking little angel. Spoon it backwards. Okay. And pull it on out. That's the key here. You got to pull it on out. All right. So just kind of fold it, fold and pull, bend and snap. All right. So that's a roundabout-ish. There we go. Okay. So again, you're going to have to hold it here and flip it, okay, and then hold it down. Let's push this guy down, okay. We've got our pocket here, our pocket here. We are going to bend this guy, and again, you're going up, okay. So you're folding him up like so. You're going to put a little dab of hot glue like so. Okay, don't douse him in it. Same thing, fold it up, bring them together, and just kind of, ow, hold it there for, yeah, that, and say, ow. There goes that callus. It must have went through the callus, right? All right. There we go. And got a little glue on here. I don't know where those tips are. They're somewhere. I did buy them, though. Okay. And then you're going to take it, flip it over. All right. And this is where, once again, like I told y'all, if it accidentally moved on you, like it probably is, then just kind of move them back into place before you get that zip tie on. Okay. 
Here we go. Like so. Okay. All right. Okay. And again, I want it to be about 10. So I am going to compare probably here. There we go. Okay. See y'all? It makes a perfect little daisy petal. And you can get a good 12 inches long out of this guy. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's tighten him up. There we go. I say there we go a lot. Some people say um. I say there we go. Okay. All right. And you get better at making them the more you make them. <laughs> okay. Good. Now let's crimp that off. And we are ready to rock and roll. Here comes the easy part. And honestly, this whole thing was easy. I tell y'all what, though, this, this mesh is going fast. So you can get a good two, two wreaths out of um, one 21-inch roll. So, all right, there we go. All right, I'm going to put these four inches back because we're not going to use them. Definitely not with 21-inch mesh. I don't even know why I bothered trying last time. Um, I'm also done with the hot glue gun. I'm going to unplug him, and let's start putting this little sucker together, shall we? All right, so then we're going to go here. And, by the way, do you see this knob right here? You just push that to the side, okay? All right, and we're going to tighten these suckers in, y'all easiest little wreath. I needed something easy. Is that burlap? Yes, it is poly burlap, y'all. I've gotten a particular fancy to this stuff lately. I think I'm kind of addicted. And it's so soft on your face, too. Not that I'm sitting here rubbing it on my face or all anything. You know, that sounded a little weird, but not. Okay, we're just going to ignore that, and we're going to keep moving on. So... And it's such an easy wreath. My God, I needed something easy. Okay, let me go in here. I have to double check because the other petals that I did over there, I didn't do the glue method. <laughs> so I've got to double check that I'm using the right method. If it's a little pointy there, just move it to the side. Okay. Okay. I'm considering, I'm debating taking my kids tomorrow. Um, you can find white anywhere, yes. But if you notice, Barbara, um, the yellow poly burlap, as you've seen, has already sold out. So if you're looking for it, it's gone. I have a strong suspicion that the white poly burlap, particularly as we get closer to um, Memorial Day and 4th of July, um, I have a feeling it's gonna go. And it's going to be in short supply as well. Just my opinion. I don't know. I, I didn't use it that much last year. So, you know, somebody else who used it might be able to let us know on that. Okay. I'm going to stick that in there. This was one of the longer ones. So I'm going to have to pull him in a little bit. Let's see here. He's slightly longer than the rest. Not too terribly much, though. How much did you, uh, <laughs> I saw you on the hunt. <laughs> how much did, how much was the yellow poly burlap on Amazon, by the way? I'm curious on that. Still a little long. That's okay. I'll fix it when I pull this guy out. Okay. Okay. Yep. This one goes here. All right. And he's already adding a lot of fullness to himself. Okay. There we go. We've got two more. And then we're on to, I'm going to do the leaves and then I'll do the center. Y'all will see why. Well, no, I'll do the center and then I'll do the leaves. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Tighten that sucker up. And last one. Here we go. I have been dying to show this for you, to y'all for like a week now. I 
tell y'all one thing. That hummingbird uh, wore me out. This one's a little short. That bothers me, but that's okay. We, I'm going to make it work. And if it bothers me later, I'll take them out and, and make them longer. But we're going to work with it right now. Y'all know me. I always finagle with stuff later anyway. So. Okay. All right. Now, I'm not too worried about the spaces right now. That can always be taken care of right here. I'm not worried about spaces. Got a little bit right here. I think it's going to end up just fine. But look how pretty that looks already, y'all. Look at that. Already it's looking so good. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. And for those of y'all who didn't tune in last time, this is going to be our center. Um, this is just one of those. Where's the other part? This is just one of those balls. And guys, I realized after I cut it that I cut it in the wrong direction. <laughs> so don't do Isabel. Um, when you get these balls, they're put together like this. And it's in Hobby Lobby. And it's pure green. Okay? I just spray painted it. And I didn't spray paint. Like, I kind of did a, like a ch 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 instead of a ch type of deal. Um, because that way you get little parts of green poking out. Because when you're looking at a daisy, you've got the yellow, but it also has shades of yellow. Um, this is... $10. Um, so you can use a 40% coupon, get it 40% off, and then it turns into two, two centers. But here's what I wanted to show y'all. Before I realized it, I had no idea that this was already in two parts. Um, so this is what I mean. See? So if you cut it, look for the connection area. Because I did not realize there was a connection area. I just assumed that it was... Um, just one big giant ball. Okay. Um, so yeah. So just make sure you do that. Don't do Isabel. I mean, you can still use it and it is going to have a weird feel to it, but it's fine. Okay. So we're going to connect this guy here. Okay. So let's see here. I'm looking at the zip ties. All right. I see where I'm going to tie him in at. Okay. Um, and I hear some people like, Pat, you're saying that it's freezing up. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. If, if, it, if it was freezing up on y'all tonight, let me know. Um, like, private message me or something. Because uh, my husband and I are trying to figure out if it's the internet um, or if I need to get a new camera. And right now we're on the fact that I need to get a new camera. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. All right, so we're going to, I'm looking at this. I want to use these two holes between it because it's going to be easier. Um, but yeah, if you're one of the, ba if you're one of the people that are, are getting frozen, I just want to see if it's just one or two people because then it could be a geological, not geological, <laughs> geographical issue. Um, oh dear God, you're scared. <laughs> Hi. Please tell me, Alejandro, no, go, 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 go. No, sir. Go get some clothes on, child. Oh, my dear Lord. I'm going to get in trouble by Facebook. <laughs> Little boys sleeping in their underwear, y'all. <laughs> I put my hand behind me and felt bare skin. I'm like, what on earth? <laughs> okay, I'm going to put one here, here, but just for safety measures. I'm going to do one in each of the four sections, one here, and then I'm going to go to the opposite side, and I'm going to do one here, so, okay, and I'll post a picture tomorrow, I might tonight, we'll see, I'm a little tired, these allergies are killing me, my body's a little sore, so, <laughs> all right, so, let's start off here, all right. This is one of those things you're going to kind of have to take a little peeksy boo down here. And uh, you know what? The more I think about it, I should have done this, I think, a different way. But let's see if I can do it or not, y'all. I should have done it slightly different. I should have done it from underneath, I think. Yep. And that's one of those things you figure it out as you go. All right, that's okay. We know what we're going to do. 
So I'll just go through those same holes. All right, there we go. We'll do it this way. That's one of those things. All right, and get this guy in here, I think, maybe. Okay, we'll go underneath. There we go. Sometimes it takes me a while. It's funny how I can think of things <laughs> and come up with ideas, and then the simplest of things I can't figure out. <laughs> Isn't that the sign of a genius? <laughs> I'm just going to go for that. All right, yeah, so that works a lot better. Feed it through the bottom, y'all. All right. Okay, so then I'm going to feed it here if I can. It's a tight fit. Honestly, I think a six inch would work better. But I'm determined to make this relationship with the zip tie work told y'all. You just got to fight for that relationship. See, I'm giving y'all life lessons here. So, um, yes, I am going to post it afterwards. Absolutely. Freezes right before. Yeah, the buttercup one. Um, I can do another buttercup video. The problem is, is I'd really rather wait until, uh, my first buttercup sells. So I'm not stuck with tons and tons of buttercups. <laughs> so, but yeah. And I may end up adding a little something extra here, but we'll see. We shall see. Oh, yeah, go through the bottom. I bet y'all, one of y'all was about to remind me about that, didn't, weren't y'all? Somebody was, I bet. Okay. Make sure. Okay, there we go. And we're going to go in here. We're going to tighten that sucker up. Feed it through there. It's like the blind leading the blind sometimes. Okay, push it through the hole. My son must not have wanted to put clothes on because he hasn't come back, y'all. All right. I may end up giving up on this one and putting a um, putting it in there. Let's see if I can do it or not, y'all. I feel the zip tie. Come on. Get in the hole. I don't want to use a six inch. The six inches are green. I don't want to use green. Okay, let's try it one more time. And I may, if I can't get it. Aha. Booyah. And, come on. Shazam. Got it. Score. I am so gecko muscle powered right now. Okay. All right. And actually, that's not going anywhere. So then at this point, all we have to do is just kind of fluff this up a little bit. And not a big issue. Got a little pushed out of up. I hear tiptoes. I hear little feet coming. You can only find a shirt. Then you cannot come over here, child. Go put, you got, no. Go to the laundry room, dear boy. Where were the pants that I put on you to go to bed? The red ones. Well, then they've got to be somewhere in your bed. Go check for them. Okay, he's getting in my bed, y'all. <laughs> Um, with regular mesh, I don't know, y'all. Um, my concern about the regular mesh is, um, I don't know, it doesn't hold its shape very well. So that's my only thing about that. I'm trying to see right here. I'm okay with here. There's a few areas that need to um, kind of, let me see here if I can do it. I sure can. All right, so I think I'm going to do that. I'll go ahead and take care of the leaves while the blue gum's heating up. Y'all know how I like things um, covered. Um, but here's where we are so far with this little guy right here. But there's a few areas here where I can kind of see through. You know it would be cute here to do these like little petals right in here too. 
So that could work out cute, but I've, I've saved the petals for the other one. So let's go ahead and add the leaves to this one, okay? And then by that point, it'll be heated up enough to where I can go ahead and, um, where I can go ahead and use the hot glue gun for that. So we're going to get the leaves put on. And because it's so thick, we can, um, you're going to want to use the eight inch. All right. So I'm going to go through here. Okay. And we're going to route it through here. That's one. You know what? Let's flip it over. There we go. Okay. Here goes, I'm trying to do it so y'all can see too. Here goes two. All right. Okay. And, all right, here goes, we're going to put one here. We're going to put one here as well. Here goes three. All right. What's going up with the questions, y'all? I'm sorry. We have to continue to ask because the questions move fast. Yes, they do. Okay. All right, Alejandro, I'm, baby, you're going to have to wait. It's bedtime, okay? What? No, honey, not in here. You may not. All right. So what's going on here, guys? All right, tell me, and I will be, if, if you guys are talking about questions, sorry, I got so caught up in my petals, my leaves, I was paying attention to the leaves. So I'm looking over here now. Okay, the ball. Yes. Yes, I usually go back afterwards, but, you know, and thank y'all for those of y'all who are, you know, asking people to be patient. But, um, yes, the ball is just from Hobby Lobby, y'all, and it's a green one, um, and I just spray painted it in spurts. So, instead of doing, like, one long spray, I kind of did it in spurts. So, I don't know the name of the ball, though. But they had two types of balls in the wedding area. They had um, like a green leafy one. And then they had this weird looking one that reminded me of the center of a daisy. So, yeah. I just kind of walk through places. And when I see something that has potential, I grab it. And then I look at how much stuff I have in my cart. And whether or not my husband would kill me. And I may put some stuff back. <laughs> That's usually how it works with me. Like, will I get in trouble or will I not? <laughs> All right, so we're going to make some petals for this guy. All right, and I'm just going to use regular old, uh, do I want to do it this way or do I want to do it the other way? You know what? We're going to figure, we going to figure it out. Do I want to do it this way or do I want to do it the other way? All right, we're just going to do it this way. Okay, I'll figure it out. There's so many different ways I could do it. All right. All right. So that's it. I'm going to stick that in there. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay. Here we go. Grass on a plastic ball. Yeah, that's basically what it looked like. Grass on a plastic ball, I guess. To me, it looked like the potential for the center of a flower. <laughs> that's kind of how I saw it. I was like, oh, this will be perfect for a daisy. So, yeah. All right. We're going to fold this guy same way. There's so many different ways you guys can make petals. It doesn't really matter. You know, this is just how I'm doing it. Kind of do which way works for you. So, and I'll go through and straighten them off. Straighten them up in a minute. Okay, and I'm glad I heated up that glue gun because I think we're going to need a little bit. All right. I'm gonna open that out a little. Open this one out a little. Okay. There we go. Come over here, open this out just a little. Okay, there we 
got that. All right, let's get the other one on. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Like I said, I just walked through a store. I know Barbara was asking me earlier about the ruffle. The ball was $9.99. So. And you can use your 40% off. That'll help out. Make sure it's tight, nice and good, before you snip it. There we go. And straighten it out just a little bit. Same thing here. Let's go to the next one. He is a pretty guy. I tell y'all what, that daisy turned out good. Here we go. Um, eight petals. No, I didn't cut 21 by 21. I actually cut um, 19. So I cut it at the 19 inch mark just so it would have that nicer little shape. And um, poly burlap does get expensive. I mean, you could try cutting it at a different one, but I think you're going to wind up with more of a round one. Yes, 19. So, <sighs> does wedding go on sale for 40% off? I'll be honest with y'all, I never really go in the wedding section. I mean, heck, when my husband and I got married, we went to the courthouse and I wore a business suit. <laughs> so... I mean, we, we didn't do anything special. I was, I think we were both in college. Yeah, we were both in college and we wanted to get married. So. Yep. But yeah, if it goes on sale, that's awesome sauce. Shoot. Because then if it goes on sale, I'm assuming it's 50% off on sale. In which case, it's even better than the 40% off coupon. Ha <laughs> ha. Unless you're desperate for it and you have an order and you have to get the order out like right then and there and your customer's like, I want it now. So. <laughs> All right. My hummingbird got delivered today. So I am glad about that. I'm glad it made it safely because it's the only hummingbird that I currently have done. <laughs> so. I'm like, please, please arrive safely. Oh, God, dear, dear God, please arrive safely. I don't want to make another one right now. I need a break. <laughs> so. Um, we have been married. Oh, dear God. I hope my husband's not online yet. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Give me a break. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 15 years this December. So, had to, had to count it down. Knowing my husband, he would have known it right off the top of his head. <laughs> All right, we got one here. All right. And after I showed you all these leaves and we put everything into place, I'm just going to show you how to do the petals for the other one. And that way, if some of y'all want to go to, you know, head on out because the leaves I'm going to do the same exact way on the other one. Nothing different. So yeah, there we go. But I'll at least show you all the petals and then I can show you all the finished product for that one tomorrow because it uses the same exact center. The only thing that's different on the other one are the petals and that's it. So, when y'all see that, y'all will get the gist of making it. 41 years. Wow. Congratulations, Sheila. Hats off to you. I look forward to that. I can't wait to say that. So, I'm looking forward to it. I told you to... Ah. <laughs> Everybody... Y'all, we're, we're going to have a hippie type of night here, okay? We are going to love each other, kumbaya, by the fireplace, you know. It, you want to put something in your brownies, you know. Um, I can't do that, but, you know, um, feel free. But we want to love each other. <laughs> 52 years. Oh, my. 48. 
Wow, I am impressed, ladies. Holy cow. Anybody top 52? Because cause that, that's, that's pretty darn good right there. <laughs> 48, holy cow. <laughs> but I think that's awesome because be married that long, you've got um, to have hats on. So, you know, I mean, you, hats, off to, hats off to them because they have to work hard. So, something in your brownies. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I don't know if I have more of a sense of humor when I have a little something or when I don't have a little something. I don't know. I've been a little forgetful lately, so who knows. Maybe that's also tiredness. 45, 54. <gasps> Holy cow. Wow, 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 wow. Y'all, that, that gives me a lot to look forward to. So, because you really got to get along with somebody and learn to work things out um, to make it that long. So, he is looking gorgeous, guys. I'm going to pan him out in just a minute. But look at that guy already. That is gorgeous. I want to fix a few spaces that are in here real quick that are bothering me. So, um, and then by fixing those spaces, it fixes the other ones. So honestly, here's what you're going to come across. All right. One, when you're doing a daisy, um, you, first of all, it's not going to work with 10 inch mesh. I mean, 10 inch. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's going to be too short. Um, you need the petals to be longer. You can also make these petals longer. And like I said, I had already done four I had already done six of these, so I did not want to go back and redo all of them. But these can easily come to 12 inches. So the next time I plan on doing this, I do plan on taking it to 12 inches. Right now they're at about 10, 10 and a half. Okay. Um, but with the center, you want as big of a center as you can get without like being too humongous. I think this is a perfect size. All we need now is just a little bit of love and a little bit of hot glue. Um, and I am just going to take a little dabby right there and we are going to push that sucker together. Okay. And where my clips at there, I'm going to let the clips hold it. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of go around kind of see where I'm going to hold these guys at right here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put a little hot glue here. Sorry. I have to bring it over to the side. But um, I've got it hooked up a certain way, so it has to pull over just a mite. Y'all, isn't this thing so easy to make? I mean, holy cow. This is not required. Okay, so by this point, this guy should be done. Yep, you don't need to hold it on too long, y'all. Literally, by the time you get one done and get the other one done, the first one's ready to come off and uh, move on to the next one. You leave it on too long, there's a good possibility you are going to pull at that um, poly burlap and you're going to pull it apart and have to redo the whole petal. Okay, and this stuff, the 21 inch, is expensive, $16.50 per roll. So you don't want to be making a whole bunch of mistakes on it. I thought long and hard before I cut this sucker um, at the length that I did. So I, I tried to unravel it inside my head. I tried to visualize it to try to see where I wanted it cut. Because I knew that um, I couldn't make any mistakes. All right, same thing here. So Okay, so I found my spot right there. And you don't need tons. A little bit for poly burlap is all that it takes. All right, there we go. I'm going to hold that with my finger for just a second because it didn't quite get enough. All right. 59. <gasps> Holy cow. I think you won it, girl. <laughs> I don't know if there's anybody else who can top that right now. <laughs> I don't know. But honestly, all of y'all, that, that is impressive. It's amazing. Um, and then, you know... Um, it 
it just is something I look forward. It's something that I look up to when I see people that have been in a relationship that long um, and they've had to, I know for a fact that they've had to work through so many challenges um, to get to where they are. And people change as they get older too. So it's like you have to learn to love, you know, somebody else. I mean, they're still the same person, but they change. So you've got to be willing to accept the changes in that person. You know, my husband and I definitely aren't the same people we were when we were 24 years old. <laughs> That's for sure. All right. Almost there. Ah, I love this thing so much. This one will be hard to let go. Okay. This one I want to look at for a second because if you see, let me see here. There, that's, uh, come on, pull yourself up. That's the problem there. Okay, that's, that's a little better. Where do we want it? Right there, okay, okay. Okay. All right, pull that up. I'm gonna hold that here. A little concerned that one might have been held on too long. There we go. And this is actually the last one, so I am just gonna hold on to this for a second. And I'm gonna pan it out so y'all can see. All right. This one's taking a little longer to stick together. I don't think I got enough glue on this one. There we go. Thank you, thank you. It's doing that weird scrolly thing again, y'all. Let's see here. Thank you guys so much. Lots of learning curves. Absolutely. A lot of give and take. Yeah, I have to agree. Definitely. All right. Let's see here. Can you use the 16 inch board? <sighs> you can. My thing on that is I don't think you're going to be able to get away with just eight. But you know what? Daisies do come with more than just eight petals. You would just probably have to put more petals in there. Okay? Um, yeah. And the ball, it is in the wedding section. It's You'll see a whole bunch of different balls in there. Um, there's one that looks like it has little tiny leaves on the outside. And then there's this weird one that looks like it has some sort of weird somebody called it like a grass type of thing yeah that can work and they're green i just spray painted them in short spurts so i'm, I'm scrolling down because my thingy stopped so so <laughs> oh, murder i love that never talked about divorce in the first 10 but murder yes <laughs> guys you're killing me <laughs> Oh my gosh. I told my husband this year that, um, you know, I took out uh, $150,000 in life insurance on him. And he's like, um, is there something I should know about? And I'm like, no, I just want to make sure we're safe. <laughs> also took out 150000 on me too. And I told him that was, you know, very conservative. All right, that part's done. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to pan it out real quick, okay? Um, and I'm going to switch y'all sideways because I have a mess back there and my son's laying back there. Um, and I don't know if his clothes are on, okay? So, yeah. So let me find the top. Where's the top of this sucker? Here it is. So here is our little finished little daisy. And he's going to need a little fluffing right there. But there you go. Isn't he gorgeous? I love him. He needs a little bit of fluffing, but like y'all know me, I'll do that tomorrow. So that one needs fluffing. <gasps> Look at that. I love it. Oh my gosh. And it's so easy to make. Eight petals, y'all. This thing, 10 bucks. Wait for wedding to go on sale. I did not know that. Now I do. Okay. So then it's five bucks, but it's really only two fifty because you cut it in half. Check it out. Score. And guess what? No spray painting the board, no making extra holes on this one. Ha! Love it! So, um, awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's get a measurement for this guy, shall we? Let's see how long this guy is. What's our, what's our little uh, length here? Okay. I'll move y'all back. 
There we go. Okay, so if you just go from pedal to pedal, you're looking at 21 inches. If you go from leaf to leaf, you're looking at 20, about 24, okay? So pedal to pedal, 21, leaf to leaf, 24. This is 10, but the pedals can be made to go 12 inches. So then technically, 22, 23, 24, 25, this could easily become a 25 inch daisy um, from pedal to pedal, and then probably 28 to 28 inch daisy if you count the leaves. Score, right? Ha, so easy. Oh my God, I love him. <laughs> okay, last one. And again, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do the whole thing with y'all. I'm just gonna show y'all the gist of it because the process is exactly the same. You're gonna want the 12 inch flower board, okay? Um, so you gotta have the 12 inch. This is the other half of the center that I was telling you about, okay? And again, don't do like Isabel. Pull, it, pull the little grass thingies apart before you start cutting because this already is two halves combined. See that little twisty tie right there where they combined it? So if you look for that, you won't make the mistake that I made. Um, the middle is just a grass ball from the wedding section in Hobby Lobby. So, and then I did like a ch -ch 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 type of spray. So you have a little bit of green showing through and then you have shades of yellow. Um, okay, so the leaves. This one I plan on doing a little differently. Okay, so this one, you still have your daisy petal, okay? But it's not quite as like the other one. This one also doesn't have the glued backs to it as well. And for this one, I'm still going to use the same section. So I, I don't use the first, I don't use the second, I would put it in here, same one, just like before. The only difference for this one um, is that, there's two things I'm gonna do that's different, okay? So we've got this going between, right, and here. Remember those extra spaces that we had? I made little tiny little spoons, and the little tiny spoons are gonna go right in there. So that's the only difference with this one. So there's gonna be a little row of spoons going around it, and then the center will be over it like that. So I'm gonna show y'all how to make those spoons real quick. Isn't it great? This thing, stupid thing won't keep, like, I'm so glad y'all like it too. And it is a very, very fast flower. And yes, how many rolls of the white burlap? Um, Peggy, you are going to use, uh, you can get two flowers out of one 21 inch roll, okay? Flower boards, you're gonna get this from uniqueinthecreek.com. And if you use my code SPARKLES, um, you can take 10% off of your order. So, all right, let's make that small petal, okay? I'm gonna bring y'all down. Y'all don't need to be seeing my shirt or anything. Okay, all right. Okay, so for this one, uh, let's see here, where are my big ones? Okay, there they are. Forgot, the little ones are for my little uh, spoons. And like I said, I'll show y'all the finished one tomorrow, but I just wanted to show y'all how I did this one. Okay, because the process is the same. I'm using the same set of, uh, same set of holes. Um, the same center is going on. So this one is cut, let me check, because I, I want to say that this one might be cut a little differently. 10, this one looks like it's cut at um, 18, about 18 inches, okay. So like one inch difference. Honestly, I don't think it matters if you cut it to 19, if you cut it at 18, okay? Yes, you can get it at Craft Outlet, but if you notice it has a little bit of a different shape to it, okay? I'm not gonna do the middle this time, all right? So basically, I'm gonna do a spoon backwards, one more backwards, and then bring down, all right? like so. Same thing here. All right, back, hold on. Like I said, this one's tricky. All right, backwards, and then one more time, and bring down. Okay, and then 
you kind of shape it to what you want it to be. All right, basically it's the spoon, okay? Some people call it backwards lolly. I call it the spoon. Barbara calls it is a spoon. We're all good, okay? Did I use my rotary? No. I For this, actually, yes. For this one, I did use my rotary cutter, and the reason why is because by the time you get all of these folds done, the, yes, it's a double twist backwards. Yes, ma'am, Michelle. Perfect. Um, by the time you fold everything, the ends aren't even showing. So you don't need to use an impulse sealer. For the leaves, I did use an impulse sealer. Okay? All right, from here, all you're going to do is basically bring it together. All right? And then you're going to kind of have to finagle it for just a little bit. Get it into the shape that you want. Okay? But you end up with a smaller one than you started with that out okay see okay so it's basically a larger spoon that's all it is all right same thing I did for the um, the hummingbird all those little spoons that I made this is basically the same thing but it has a double twist too much double twist to it <laughs> good night Alice so, and again, I'm not going to show y'all the whole thing tonight. Um, I'll show y'all the finished product to it tomorrow. Let me give that a little pull. All right. There. And tighten. That actually hurt a little bit because that's my knuckle. <laughs> uh, okay. And that's it. So I'll show that to y'all one more time. And then that one's done. And I'll show y'all the finished product to it tomorrow. We're going to cut it off, okay, and that one's done, okay? So I'll show you all one more time with that, and then I'll make the small ones for you all, too. All right, so same thing here. Cut to 18 inches this time. Bring it end to end. That really hurt. <laughs> That's the knuckle that I sliced you all about a month ago, and it still hurts. <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. All right, it's going to be a double twist backwards, okay? I'm going to go here. We're going to go one and two and bring it down, okay? It helps if you hold this like this, okay? We're going to go one and two and bring it down, all right? That one's much better. That one turned out much, much better. Let's get that nice little fold in it, though. There we go. That's better. Now I'm happy. Okay. Then, okay, got that. You're going to come up here. You see where those edges are right here and here? That's where we're going to start gathering. All right. There we go. And there we go. And then just straighten it out to the position that you want it in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So this one will give you more of a little round look to it when you're doing that. There we go. And we're going to tie him off. And then I'll show you all the small one. Okay, here we go. I'm hoping it hasn't frozen on my end because I'm not seeing the comments on the computer. Um, which makes me wonder because I see comments on here. All right, got it. And snip it off. Okay, well, according to this, I'm at the end of the comment. Nope, see, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Ah, oh, craft outlet, okay, comments. There we go. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, so that's basically how you do the big petals on this one. Um, I don't want to keep y'all up too much later tonight because I know for a fact y'all, you know, most of y'all want to go to bed, I'm assuming. Um, if you want to stick around while I finish making it, you're welcome to stick around. You saw the, the other wreath, so, you know, we're good on that. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. Okay. Um, and this time, let's see here. So we're going to go to the middle. 
Okay, same process as last time. We're using the metal sets between the two sets of holes. Okay, well, the thing that happened, um, Haley, on, on my laptop right there, is it literally, like, it was stuck from, like, minutes ago. And then when I went to go touch a little button, suddenly it sped downhill. And I was like, holy crap, everything's moving so fast. So, um, again, we're, we're going to upgrade our... I got permission to buy a camera. We didn't talk about a budget, though. <laughs> That's a dangerous thing. Tell a woman you can buy something, but you don't give her a budget. Mm. So I'm still torn. I just don't know if I want to get the Mevo or um, if I want to go a GoPro route. I don't know. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm debating. I think the other thing I'm having here is my little... Uh, wire thing. There we go. All right, so we've got that. And you know what? While I am here doing this, I think at the same exact time, I'm going to go ahead and add the ones for the leaves in here and have it done with so that we don't have that issue where I'm fumbling around again for it like last time. So, and basically for the leaf, up, oh, I missed one right here. There we go put that in there. So if y'all got to go to bed, don't worry about it. Go ahead and go to bed. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work on getting this little guy done. So because he's only about 10 minutes away and that's it. And then I'm going to go to bed too. All right. So I did here. We want one here. Here we go. All right. So since follow that up here. Okay. Did you miss one on the center? You actually caught that. I had to go back and I had to fix it. You're right. I did miss one on the center and I had to go back for it. <laughs> Barbara's on top of it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it doesn't help that I had a cup of coffee a little later, later than what I normally do. So I'm a little awake right now. Actually a lot awake, but I think my little boy's asleep behind us in, in my bed. That's what I'm thinking. All right, put this in here. I'm using um, size eight. Good night, Margaret. I'm so glad that you like it. Guys, if you liked what you saw earlier and what you're learning tonight, definitely, you know, give it, give it some likes, give it some love, share it on out. So let's let other people know just how easy these boards are to use. Um, because I don't think people, not everybody realize just how easy it is to make these wreaths. So, um, but it is. All right, so all I'm going to do now, I'm going to come in here, make sure that little guy's pushed to the side. Okay. And we're going to tighten this guy down. Okay. Thank you all so much. You guys are so sweet. Good night, y'all. My, my little birdies that have to go to bed. Early bird catches the worm. I don't get any worms at all, apparently. <laughs> I'm also like, um, what is it? I've, I've got five days until spring break, so I think I'm running on fumes. So, oh, and look at this. These petals are so tight, y'all, that um, we're not even going to have to uh, hot glue anything. I don't think so at all. So this, like I said, different petal, different method. Um, I think what's important is that you just, you know, use your creativity, take a risk, give it a chance. So, there we go. Awesome. See, I told y'all I had them all made in advance. So, we are just going through, and we're going to put these suckers in. So, there we go. But I'm so glad that you guys hung out with me tonight. I know a lot of y'all have to get up, go to church. We put it on TV here. So, <laughs> That's what you call brunch. All right. Got that. Put that in there. And this is literally how easy it goes, y'all. <laughs> how fast it goes. Push that to the side a little bit. Okay. Here we go. So you got two methods that you can use to do the daisy on here. So easy peasy. 
who would have thunk? Real word is thought. I was just being funny about it, you know. I know my grammar. I really do. <laughs> All right. Let's go here. We doing that same little thing. I must have hit some sort of weird button with it. There we go. What is the size of the petals? They are cut to 18 inches, y'all. And the zip ties are um, the zip ties are eight inches. But yes, six inches would work. Definitely don't use four. Do you put the zip ties for the small ones on at the end? There was actually about this much of burlap left over here, and I snipped it off. So I just kind of snipped it off. You see where that little thing is? To, there we go. You see where that is? That's where I gathered it together. So you literally want to put the zip tie on underneath that spot. And then when I put this zip tie in, this zip tie is going right on top of the one that's on the pedal. You put it under and it's just going to slide out on you. So, all right, last big pedal. Here we go. House shopping. Yay, there you go. Move in Friday. I love it. I know you've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> Hi, my Nancy girl. How are you? Yeah, the first daisy turned out awesome. This is just a different way to do it. I'm stepping on something funky. Oh, extra little zip ties. Um, uh, this guy went through here. I'll put the petals on tomorrow. I'm just going to show you all tonight. All right. So then the next thing I would do here is we've got our little spoon petals here. And the spoon petals are gonna go here, right between the two. So I'm gonna use that space there. And this is what's gonna make it tight and I'll probably have to end up using um, the little green six inch ones that I have to do um, to put the center in, in a little bit. So I'm gonna put these guys in. I'll show y'all how to make one of the spoons because I've got the rest of them already made. Let me get some more of these big ones. Oh, where are they? There they go. <sighs> okay. I got these ones from Walmart, y'all. So, okay. All right. So, same thing. We're going to go in here, put it through here. And, like I said, these things are so easy to make. I may even do a workshop on them here um, where I live. I actually finished doing a workshop today, y'all. I wonder if I go out of this window. Oh, I bet you this is going to work a hundred times better. Yep. Ah, look at that. That works a hundred times better. That was my mistake. Silly me. Okay. I went full screen. And so the comments were just scrolling full screen. So, all right, we're going to put these in here. I'm hoping tomorrow, y'all, to work on my door garland. So that, that's my objective tomorrow. I'm trying to have it go all the way up the side lights across. Oh, God, I'm, I'm going to butcher it again. The tra, Trazam? Trazam? Did I say it right? Trazam? Trazam? Somebody help me. It's not a Trans Am. I know that. That's a car. So. <laughs> but I don't know the name of it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Last one in. Last one. Last one ready. It's the rotten egg. Okay. So. I'm going to show you all the little spoons real quick. All right. So for the little spoons, you're just going to come in here. You're going to fold it. Okay. And let me see what I cut them to. 10, they are cut at nine inches, okay? So I probably made a mistake on that. I probably meant to cut it at 10 because usually for the spoons, I like to cut them at 10 inches. So that's probably a mistake on my part, but that's okay. One fold backwards, one, one fold backwards, and y'all see how much easier it is to do it <laughs> with this guy than it is uh, on 21 inch burlap. All right, there we go. Okay, lay it down flat and push it in together. There you go. 
And for these little guys, look at that. Look at that perfect spoon shape right there. Love it. Minus that part. There. Um, for these little guys, you can use the four inch zip ties to hold it, hold it in together. Yes. So, Anna, this is the same one. If you go watch my uh, hummingbird one, this is the same method that I use, the little spoon. There's the lolly and then there's the little spoon. So the difference between them, lolly goes forward, spoon goes backwards. I'm left-handed, so it makes sense to me. <laughs> I'll show you all one more time. Okay. All right. So just bring it down tip to tip. All right, get yourself a nice little crease here, hold it, come to the end, backwards down, okay, backwards down, there you go, all right, and get yourself in position here, there you go, okay, and flatten and bring together. There you go. You got your nice little spoon. Voila, look at that. Perfect, love it. All right, and that's all of the spoons, I think. So a transom, Tra so is it transom, like French, or is it transom? Transom, 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 transom. Gosh, you would think something so simple, I would know. But no, it's the simple stuff that I don't know. <laughs> oh, my dear Lord. <laughs> All right, let me bring my spoons over, y'all. I think I made enough three. Uh-oh, we may be one short. Oh, no, we're not. It's right here. Ah, score. I got scared for a second. Um... Transom. Transom. Oh my God, Jennifer, you are a lifesaver. I love phonetical stuff. Transom. <laughs> I love the spoon, y'all, because it turns out perfect every single time. Like, it, every single time. Always perfect. So, all right. So, now we're going to come here. And here comes our little spoon. So, okay. All right, and cut. And again, guys, I this is the first time making this. I've never made this before. I've never made a daisy before. You guys did it with me today. So <laughs> just FYI on that part. This is the second daisy I have ever made in my entire reaping career, which isn't that long, by the way. <laughs> Tighten it real good. You got to be careful on this part because of the fact you have so many. And actually, I think I'm going to bring it back to the top because of the fact that we've got to get the center through it. And that's the part that concerns me. That's the part that's going to be rough here. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Here comes this guy. And you know what would be cute is if this was a slightly different color. Like, um, hindsight is 2020. But since this little guy has this one, this would have been cute to be yellow. But that's okay. We're going to stick with this anyway. It adds a nice little texture to it. So, but yes, I'm working hopefully tomorrow. All my supplies are here. Um, and I've got my beautiful little carrot wreath, tulip wreath, made out of carrots on my front door. Um, so now I want to decorate the front door and put garland going around all the side going around the side lights and on top of the transom the transom Ugh, hopefully I can remember that I make it all look easy I don't know about that but thank you <laughs> it's not that bad honestly the hardest part I'm having here and you can see where my finger my thumb has already split it actually split earlier today while I was teaching the workshop and it's the worst feeling when you you feel the so you know it's split. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So luckily it's not bleeding. It's just an open gap right now. So if it was bleeding, I'd have to stop. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get this all bloody. 
it'd be a bloody daisy. <laughs> All right. There we go. Tighten that sucker down. The middle looks a mess right now, but we're not going to be seeing that in just a little bit anyway. So, all right, here we go. This is almost done. You have a bunny butt on your door. <laughs> Anna, absolutely. Um, the other one that you want to see for the spoon one is going to be uh, the hummingbird one. And I believe it is in part one that I originally show it, but I use the spoon method a lot in the hummingbird. So I've actually got a hummingbird body right behind me. It's the prototype of another one. So different method over there. I was trying something out that's different in the hopes of making it beginner friendly. Um, so it's a different hummingbird. So, and it looks like he'll end up being about four feet tall. I don't know why I can't make small things, y'all. <laughs> I'm like small challenged. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm a spoon lover. I'm not so much of a lolly lover, but I am a spoon lover. For me, the spoon always works. I don't know why that one was cut to nine, um, because typically you'd want to cut it evenly, but whatever, you know. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. And this is the part that I am concerned about. We shall see what happens, though, y'all. All right. So, for the center, I... It's going to work out perfectly. It's going to look great. The question is, um, the issue is trying to uh, get it in here. So, we learned last time. I, I think this one, because of the fact you can't see, because of the lolly already covering up the area, I'm actually going to use my 6-inch zip ties this time. Okay? So, uh, yeah. I know, my, my fingers are just... Uh, they're shot. I'm almost ashamed, actually, to go get a uh, manicure done. <laughs> actually, I don't even see the point of a manicure. All right, so I'll tell y'all which one I'm going to use. Because we've got the 8-inch zip ties here, um, I'm going to go through these sets of two right here, okay? And again, you only need four of them. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get my four in place. Okay, and this one went in backwards, so let's fix that. There, there's one, so I'm going to come over here to the other side, and we're going to go here. So, um, yes, that's the only place, Michelle, that you can get the small flower boards right now. Here, and then I'm going to go here. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to use them all because last time we only used two and it, it, it was nice and firm. So we shall see what happens. If the same thing happens again, then I'll just pull two of them out. Not a big deal. Let me take a look because this one, as you see, like I said, don't do me. Look for that little connection cup part right here because now I'm going to have to uh, pull the zip tie up a little higher. Um, doesn't really matter where I'm going to pull it from. I think I'm going to stay away from that side, so I'm going to go from here. Okay, all right, here we go. And I'm kind of doing this without looking underneath it. So I have no idea what's going on under here. All right, there we go. Pulled it. I tell y'all one thing, the six inch zip ties are uh, working much better than the four inch that I was so determined to use last time. And I did it. <laughs> I did it. But it was a booger butt, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, this one is almost done. Yes, if you go to uniqueinthecreek.com and you type in cold sparkles, then you will save 10% uh, off of your order from there. Um, so yeah, that, that'll kind of save you a little bit of money there. And I think so, guys. I don't think we're going to use this one or this one. So let's double check. All right, I'm going to pull this up. Make sure I pull it in the right spot. 
Okay. Here we go. Got it. There we go. And I'm going to feed it through here. Looking for it to come out the other side. Okay. And you may have to kind of push it over there. All right. Initially. Make sure. There we go. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm going to pull this guy back up. And feed him through. So. All right. There we go. Let's double check it. Love, love, love. He is not going anywhere, y'all. All right. Tightened him up a little bit more. We can pull this guy out, and we can pull this guy out. There is no need for them. All right. Here goes another daisy flower. Look at that. So, and everybody else, like some people skipped out a little earlier because it is late at night. Y'all know me. I'm a night owl. Um, the, I just can't sleep. Honestly, I spend most of my time tired, to be truthful with you. Now, the only thing I'm going to do here, and I'm not going to have y'all sit with me through this because it is um, 1123, and even though I don't want to go to bed, I know what's good for me and that I need to go to bed. <laughs> so, I'm going to tell y'all what I'm going to do next. The next step is to take the 10 by 10 uh burlap that I did with the heat with the impulse sealer and add the leaves going around and I'm gonna use the same method I did last time okay the other thing that I want to do and I'm gonna do this tomorrow because I don't think messing with a hot glue gun when you're halfway asleep is a good idea the other thing I'm gonna do tomorrow is I want these lolly I want these uh, spoon petals to be open just a little bit more okay so I'm going to do the same thing where on the other wreath um, we needed to, because the fact that it got folded backwards and hot glued, um, I'm going to put a little dab of glue here and I'm basically just going to glue those open so that we get a nice curvier shape to it. Okay, so that those are the two changes you're going to see tomorrow. Leaves are going to be on, a little dab of hot glue between the little small spoon petals um, just so that we don't have that gap in between here you know me I don't like gaps um, and that's it that one's gonna be done all right so I'm gonna show y'all both of the both of the wreaths that we did tonight okay because that is it all right we're gonna move y'all back all right right over here that way I can um, show y'all that part okay hi there's a person here okay I'm so immature, I swear to God. All right. Or tired, one or the other. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, here is daisy number one. Um, and I'm going to do a little finagling to it tomorrow. We added the little leaves to it here, which is what we're going to do to that one tomorrow or I'll, when I wake up. So, but this is this one. And this is the one where if you go back to the very beginning of the video, this is the one where we folded the leaf parts back and we hot glued. And again, y'all, I did not come up with this method. Um, I watched lots of those Japanese felt flower folding things and, and little satin folding flower things where people use the little lighters um, until I saw the video that had the exact shape of the petal I wanted. And that's the one that I used. Okay, um, Lori can attest to that. There are so many petal folds out there, and if you just watch the Japanese way to fold it, you'll get it. All right, so this is the first one. I love it. He's gorgeous. He's cute. He's fast. He's easy. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Okay. Oh, I need to go to bed. Okay, this one, where's the top of him? I guess it's up. Here we go. All right, here's this one right here, okay? And um, this one was made slightly different. These are basically spoons. Um, the big ones are cut one inch shorter and that's what gives them that instead of having that perfectly round shape to it, that's what gives them a slightly curved shape to it. Okay. And then for this one, I wanted to switch it up and we've got the little spoon petals here as well. And I'm going to hot glue this part. We're going to add leaves. Center's the same. Okay. But he is gorgeous as well. So there's a second little daisy 
both of these done on the 12 inch flower frames. So now you've got something else. Wait till you see what I'm going to do to the flower frame next. So, um, but I'm going to tell you all what's coming up this week. This week, we have bees everywhere. So I've got a bee wreath coming, but you know I put a spin on it. So I've got something to show y'all and you're going to love it and it is so easy and I guarantee you we're going to start seeing more of them too. So um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am going to go back and take a look at some of these because I know I missed some questions. So you guys know I kind of try to scroll through and respond to some of them. But if, if I don't get to you, private message me, okay, and I'll be happy to you know help y'all out. All of these kits are also going to be available in my shop soon. I've got a big order that's coming in of a 21 inch poly burlap very, very soon. Um, both in yellow and white as well. So, um, yeah, so thank y'all so much for staying with me. Again, uniqueinthecreek.com. Use code SPARKLES. You'll get 10% off. So, and I hope all of y'all sleep well. Thursday, 9.30 p.m., we're going to make a bee wreath, okay? And I've got a little spin on it. You're going to love it. So, I think that's it. Thank y'all so much. Love y'all. Good night. You guys are awesome.